Hey everybody, how's it going? I want to talk about air leaks today. The dreaded air leak. Chainsaws get air leaks, and what do air leaks do? They cause them to burn up. What is occurring in an air leak? What can we do to fix it? How are they diagnosed? What's going on? Well, let's show you. Here we have our Hot Rod XL130 Super Home Light ported. This saw is an air leak behind the crank seal. When I spray brake cleaner behind the flywheel on this side, it sucks it in and it stalls the saw. Let's look at the cutaway and let's see what's actually going on. Let's talk about air leaks because they're a pain in the butt. We all experience them. It's something that happens a lot in saws. Let's talk about what's going on. Okay, we got our good old cutaway. You guys have seen it before. Air leaks. Where do air leaks occur? Why do they happen? What can we do to stop them? What are the signs of an air leak? Well, the signs of an air leak are general tunability issues. Uh, the saw will not hold an idle. Uh, it could idle up and down and, and rev funny. Um, it can race at high RPM. Uh, the saw will run hot. Just general tunability issues. Where do air leaks occur? They can occur here. This is your crankcase gasket. They can occur anywhere around the bottom end. You get a leak here, not a good thing. The cylinder base can leak here and here, okay? Right in this area here, that can leak. Uh, but usually the main source of an air leak is these crank seals. Now remember, this would normally be in the crankcase. It gets pressed in or heated and, and mounted in there. Leaks generally happen here at the crank seal. Okay, why, why do saws leak or two strokes in general and what happens? Well, these generally will fail for two reasons, three reasons. One, they were installed incorrectly. This inner seal, I'm gonna see if I can zoom you in. Let's see if we can get some, here. This inner, this seal here has a spring in it. The spring holds the rubber against the crankshaft, holds it tight so that as, I'm going to put my finger there, as it spins, you notice the crankshaft is spinning in the seal. Now this normally would not be spinning, it's mounted solid in the case, okay? If you, if you install these incorrectly, you will fold this lip over and it's called a prolapse and it'll leak. Number two, these are rubber. Rubber dries out over time. If the rubber dries out, it will crack or fail and cause a leak. Number three, if your bearing starts to go, it will move up and down on this shaft. It will have play. It will create heat and it'll either blow the seal out you guys have seen a few of my videos on blown up seal or it'll cause movement and it'll rub the seal through okay that's the third cause sometimes they will leak here but that's very uncommon they can now seals leak crankcases leak and base gaskets leak at the base of your cylinder i'm going to zoom you back out get my hand out of the way Okay, just gonna angle you back up here. Okay, seals leak in two ways. They leak under pressure and they leak under vacuum. If you refer to my video, How a Piston Ported Chainsaw Works, part two, uh, it shows the, what all this is doing. So remember, when this piston is traveling up, it's pulling on the crankcase creating a vacuum, right? Your transfers are sealed and your intake is sealed, meaning this area here, it's pulling, right? It's a syringe. Well, if it pulls, okay, if it pulls up and it pulls on the seal and you have a leak, you're pulling air into there, which is the most common seal leak. You'll notice that one the worst. That's why they hook up a vacuum pump 
to the impulse line. This impulse line pushes and pulls, right? And that's what creates a pump in your in your uh, carburetor. Okay, that's why you hook up to here and you put a vacuum and you pull vacuum from here. Which, if this seal is leaking, it will pull air into here. Okay. Now think about that. This is going up. This should be sealed. There might be a little fuel and oil left in there and air from the last stroke, but this will be sealed. This will create a vacuum. If this is leaking here, it's pulling air in, which is actually filling this with air that has no fuel and no oil. Now, by the time this opens, you've pulled so much air into there that there's not a lot of vacuum on your intake port. So, Instead of it going, it goes like that, right? It doesn't pull much fuel, oil, and air in, right? Now what happens is it comes down. Say you have 50% of the charge in there that you would normally have. Well, now when it comes to the top side, you don't have as much fuel, air, and oil there, which will cause the solder to run lean because you're just physically under fueling it. That'll make it race at idle. It'll idle fast and it'll run lean. It'll also, you're not lubricating your crank bearings, your big end bearing, or your small end bearing. That makes the saw run hot. If this bottom end gets hot and you get too much friction, you melt your piston and you score your cylinder wall, right? We've all seen that. Okay. Now, that's that kind of a failure. It's pulling air in and it, it causes not enough fuel and oil to go into here. Second, when this is pulled, everything, sometimes they don't leak on suction. They leak under pressure. Say this is not leaking under suction. You have your full charge in here, right? And it's compressing it. The minute that closes, it starts really compressing this charge in here. Well, what ends up happening, if this fails under pressure, it starts blowing that charge out into the atmosphere. So now, instead of pressurizing this charge in here and getting it ready to flow through the upper transfer and into the combustion chamber, it starts blowing it out here. And again, that'll make your saw run lean. So um, crank case leaks and air leaks in general are something that you go through. They are repairable. Pop a new seal in there. Sometimes you got to split a saw and put a new seal. Sometimes it's leaking under here. They're all repairable. But if you don't repair them, the saw will burn up. Okay, you're not getting enough lubrication in here. You'll start melting. You'll start melting your piston skirt. Eventually, your piston skirt will start to melt away. It will fold into your ring grooves. Your rings will stick out or in. And that'll be that. You end up with a saw. With no compression, a scored cylinder, and it doesn't run. It needs to be rebuilt. Okay? So there you go. Air leaks, what's going on, and, and showing you what's actually happening when you have an air leak. As I understand it. Okay. The cutaway chainsaw strikes again. I hope you guys have a little better feel for air leaks and what causes them. And, and what's actually going on in the saw. As always, thanks for watching. Take her easy. See you guys later.